welcome you back to Hearing Post, where you'll hear the real truth. Tomorrow, July 12th, Bernie Sanders will endorse Hillary Rodham Clinton, better known as Hillary, for President of the United States. Tomorrow was a sad day for me and many Bernie Sanders supporters because I don't see how Bernie could support or endorse a woman who has done so many illegal activities and got away with it. This was supposed to be a revolution that Bernie was leading. And when you're leading a revolution, you don't go out and endorse the person or the enemy who has been committing all the crimes in this country. I'm saying this with a broken heart that Bernie Sanders is supporting a woman who has done so many illegal activities. And James Comey basically told you how many illegal activities she had done with her email server, but he refused to indict her. He refused to indict her because I hate to say it, that most of the people in this country are scared of the establishment. They are still an establishment to the point to where they rather, they rather take the wrath of the American people than take the wrath of the establishment. And I hate to say it, you know, this reminds me of the Revolutionary War when George Washington is fighting against King George in the British Army. And of course, when you're fighting a revolution, you're going to have up days, down days, all kind of days. But can you imagine George Washington somewhere in the war, maybe in the middle of the war, going over to King George's side or going over to the generals of Britain and say, well, let me help you out. I'm going to, I'm going to put my arms around you and I'm going to help King George be a better, be a better king. Huh, that ain't how revolutions fought. Revolutions, you fight until the end. You fight until the other side concedes. You don't join in with the other side. You didn't you don't endorse the other side. You fight on. And endorsing Hillary Clinton gives the establishment a victory or an appearance of a victory. Because what done happened in the last two weeks? Elizabeth Warren, so called progressive leader who fought against Wall Street, fought against all these other things that was going on in this country. She rallies behind the criminal Hillary Clinton. Bernie, tomorrow, he rallies behind Hillary Clinton. And see, what happens is that the establishment has now tainted both of you. You have joined in with the establishment what actually gives them a victory. But there's one solace in this whole thing right now is that the Bernie Sanders supporters will not follow him. They will not follow him down this road. We will make our own decision. And you know what the decision is going to be? Not to vote for Hillary Rodham Clinton, better known as Hillary. This woman will take us into wars. She's already talking about developing a no-fly zone in Syria, which will wrap it up things against Russia. She's talking about Iran. We can't have that. This is a dangerous woman. And I don't see how Bernie could support a woman knowing, knowing, all the faulty decisions she has made throughout her political... Just look at her as Secretary of State. She failed with the Russian reset. The Arab Spring has basically went in pure chaos from Egypt, Libya, Yemen, Syria, and countless other things all around the world. Look at how bad Hillary Clinton has been. And now... We want to give her a promotion for being bad. We want to give her, this is a woman, we want to give her a promotion for having a crime bill, 1994, the credit card bill, the vote on Iraq, the Arab Spring, the Russian reset, Syria, and we want to give her a promotion. No, brothers and sisters, this it don't work this way. It don't work this way. I do not see how any Bernie Sanders supporter 
could go ahead and endorse Hillary Rodham Clinton. This is a sad day. And we should stand tall and say no. And I'm not going to listen to the thing, oh, if you don't vote for Hillary, you're going to get Trump. What has Trump ever did but say stuff? Hillary has actually done things. You can't, you can't go down that road. She has done so many things against this country and against progressives. There is no way we should support her. You got Jill Stein out there. You got Gary Johnson out there. You got other people out there that you may want to vote for. It's your constitutional right, but there's no way I'm voting for Hillary. There's no way. They're not going to scare me into going in there voting for a woman where I know, I know her past. I know her resume. It's out there for everybody to see. And if you're a progressive and you vote for her, that's on you. You're going to tell me about what Donald Trump said. Donald Trump never started a war. Donald Trump never uh, 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 put in a crime bill. She has done all this. Most dangerous person ever to walk into the White House. And it's a sad day for progressives. She's going to inherit the Bernie Sanders vote. You're going to get behind this criminal. And you know from the Clinton Foundation, even to the email scandals and whatever else you can think of. This woman has committed crimes. And the only reason why she got away with it because she got her 1% get out of jail privilege card. I don't want to talk about this shit no more. That's how angry I am. I want to thank you for listening to Hearing Post. I hope you subscribe to Hearing Post. I hope you share this with your friends at Hearing Post because we ain't got to take this shit no more. Thank you very much.